And you're absolutely sure it's not just a coincidence? Yes, I'm more than sure. It's not even just at my house. It's every single place I go. It doesn't matter where I am, what time it is. I, I look out a window and he's just standing there, staring at me and smiling with this creepy smile on his face. It's terrifying. Everywhere. Are you sure? Do you take any medications that may be causing this hallucination? H hallucination? N no, this... This man is real. I don't hallucinate. I don't take any medication. Are you sure? 100%? What? Of course I'm sure. I'm not crazy. Okay. Wait here. I'll be back. Wait here. On this. Sweetie, this again? Really? You've kept this going since you were seven! I wouldn't have had to keep it going if you believed me the first time. Or, well, should I say the first hundred times? He gets closer every single time I see him. He didn't used to do that. He was a decent distance away, and now look where he is. <laughs> right outside the window. It's scary. Darling, I don't know what game you're playing here, but it's not funny. We have done everything we can, me and your father, to raise you to be the best girl you can be. And look where it's led us. Here, again. It's the fourth time this year. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder why it's the fourth time this year. Maybe it's because you don't believe me. <sighs> you don't understand how scary it is. He's been watching me for years. Every single time I go outside, I turn around, he's there. I bolt down the road, I turn around again, he's there, again. Never gaining, never losing distance. Well, aside from recently, where well, he's been getting colder. Last time I saw him, he was in our back garden. I looked out my window, he was right there, and staring at me in the dark, with this weird smile on his face. Did you not get how scary that is? I would find it very scary. If it was real. He's not real. He can't hurt you. Okay? What did I ever do to deserve a daughter like you? what happened. I mean, my parents have gotten fed up with it. I know they have, but at least you still believe me. I've still got you, right? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, I just think that... How can I put this without sound, sounding rude? You've kept the same story going? about the man staring at you from the window since we were pups and it's never changed don't, don't you think it's time that you maybe I don't know let go of it honestly if he was gonna do something to you by now he would have done it don't tell me you're starting to think I'm crazy now too my parents think that so do the police they don't believe me anymore I mean I can't say my parents ever believed me, but at least the police did. Now they're just getting sick of my phone calls every single time. It's... It's scary. Look, Charity, it's not that I don't believe you. I just think you should let it go. Like, 
go of this story. It's getting ridiculous. There wouldn't be a need for me to let it go if it had just been dealt with correctly the first time. My parents have been putting off doing anything about it my entire life. Uh... Hi. Um... What are you two talking about again? Uh, nothing important. She was just, um... She, she was just telling me about one of her childhood stories. Uh, yeah. Childhood story. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, really? I've got a lot of them too. Um, you wanna tell me what's going on? It's nothing important. Really. <sighs> Only a man that's been stalking me my entire life and staring at me through the windows, but you know what? It's fine. It's cool. It's just a childhood story. Not like it's traumatizing or anything. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> well, that that was interesting. You sure? <sighs> no one believes me. Not even you two. I mean, I know you've got a crush on her, so that's why you don't believe me. But honestly, I've known you my entire life. This is ridiculous. Uh, you what? Ignore her. Charity! Charity? What is it? I know you don't believe me, so don't even bother. Charity, I do believe you. It's just getting ridiculous. It's been going on for years. Honestly, I just want this to stop. Okay, this ridiculous story. You don't think I want it to stop? I've been dealing with this since I was seven! Do you not understand how scary it is? I don't even want to go outside by myself at this point. I almost have a panic attack every single time I'm left home alone. Do you not understand that? Why do you think I always ask you to come over? You're the only one I can trust at this point. Seriously! Then you're gonna have to find someone else to trust, okay? I'm not dealing with this anymore. Seriously? That's your attitude towards this? You know what? Fine. <laughs> Just don't bother speaking to me. I don't want to hear it. Come on, Charity! Don't be ridiculous! I'm sorry. Ridiculous? You think I'm being ridiculous? <laughs> Why don't you try having some random guy you don't know smile at you every single time you look out the window for years on end? It's gonna make you go insane, isn't it? Because apparently everyone thinks I've gone insane. I haven't. I can still think straight. This is just terrifying. Charity. Th this is going too far. It's gone on for too long and you wonder why no one believes you. Honestly, you're lucky I still have any belief in this. How dare you? You do not understand what this has been like for me at all. You don't understand. You know what? I know I said I was supportive of you and Haley, but mm, no, never mind. I don't think you deserve that. How dare you? Oh, now she fell over. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, that's twice in a row. Sweetie. This again? Ignore that.
dare you? That attitude is disgusting. You know what? I know I was supportive of you and Haley, but you know what? No. Oh, flip. That was, um... I used a bit too much force there. <laughs>